So my book is about what I sort of call the most diabolical, little known serial killer in modern American history. And this was a criminal the likes of which the FBI had never seen before. He confounded their top minds, their most elite criminal behavioralists, profilers, um, and he basically spent at least 14 years cutting a murderous swath across all of the United States of America. I also call him an analog killer in a digital age because the ways in which he was able to evade any suspicion, let alone capture by law enforcement, was by using these very uh, rudimentary techniques, uh, not just turning his cell phone off, but taking out the battery and breaking it apart, traveling only with cash, flying into one major city, renting a car, driving thousands of miles to another before he even began to think about taking someone, let alone killing them. I first learned about Israel Keys in early December 2012, and I just sort of came across this online piece that asked, the headline was a very simple question. The headline asked, is this the most meticulous serial killer of the 21st century? And the answer seems to be implied in the question. It must be yes. And when I got to the second paragraph, I just couldn't believe what I was reading. It was a modus operandi, an MO, the likes of which the FBI had never seen. He didn't care if you were young, old, attractive, unattractive, overweight, traveling by yourself, traveling in a couple, possibly traveling with a small child. If you came in his crosshairs and the timing matched up, the stars for him aligned where he could take you, he would take you. Especially as a, as a woman who consumes true crime all the time. Um, I think there are things in here that may cause you to rethink the ways in which you're safe and not safe in the world. Number two, there are missing persons and cold cases that are explored in this book that uh, law enforcement has also explored very quietly uh, with the belief that Keyes is, 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 is a likely suspect. And my hope is that readers of this book and, and people who, whether they're new to this case or have been intrigued by it for as long as I have, uh, maybe come across some clue, something that has, has eluded people who've worked this case for so long. I also hope that we maybe begin to talk about, in our culture, the way we sort of depict true crime and depict serial killers and talk about them. Uh, without glorifying them.